So let's chat a bit about the democratization of education. What does it actually mean? Well, for most people in the developed world, we don't really understand that concept because we've got access to the tools that allow us to build an education that can support our lives and allow us to be contributing members of society. But the democratizing of education really is in areas where they, people don't actually have access to the same educational tools of their counterparts in developed worlds. And this is often because of the network that's in place, the distribution of education, the state bodies that actually control the decision making of the education process. And what the democratization of education aims to do is to actually level this playing field and make education accessible to everybody. So that's the concept of the democratization of education. Now you and I both know that there's information available on the internet and that information is freely available to anybody that wants to use it. But 50 odd percent or more of the education that's available on the internet is in English. So a starting point, a step to actually get involved in that education and participate in what it can do for you starts with learning the English language. If you don't understand and know English, how can you accept and be part of that democratization? How can you be part of that movement to share and use education to better your life? The importance of this is that education, in my belief, is vitally important to open up the learning process and open up the opportunity for hundreds and hundreds of millions of students all over the world that don't have access to this. And the most beautiful example that I've seen of this happening over the last 19 years is English Forward. English Forward truly is a decentralized organization and has been decentralized before most of the other organizations on the internet that pertain to be decentralized now came about. They've got a system which is accessible to anybody. If you want to learn English, there are experts available there to transfer the knowledge and the learning they have to help you learn that language. And where I see a beautiful synergy developing that will impact billions of people is with Ford Protocol. Because what Ford Protocol brings to the synergy, to this harmony, is an earn as you learn protocol that actually enhances that learning process and allows so many more people to utilize this platform as a trampoline, as a leap forward into education and accessing that knowledge that is available to everybody. And how this comes about is with the smart contracts that are deployed on Ford Protocol. So what's going to happen is English Ford is going to adopt Ford Protocol and is going to deploy three different smart contracts. And once they have deployed those smart contracts on there, the students that are utilizing the, the platform and learning via it and the experts that are sharing their learning and their knowledge, their information with it, there is a protocol in place to help facilitate this transfer of le learning, this transfer of knowledge. And that creates an incredibly powerful mechanism. Why? Because we both know what gets rewarded gets done. If you've got an incentive and you've got a reward, you're far more likely to complete it and to get going with it. And what I'd like to suggest with this synergy, with this harmony, is that all of a sudden, for the first time, there is an opportunity for people all over the world to partake and share in the body of knowledge, that education, the learning process that is so vitally important for us to progress as humans, for us to better our lives, and for us to solve the problems at our local level that are so important to the furthering and the betterment of our lifestyles, for everybody included, so that everybody can sit around the table and partake in this process on an equal footing, with an equal opportunity, and have the best chance possible to become the best success they can in their lives.